Now every year we find a strange job to find us a special child. We meet that year to we find another child next year. Other us tell them words. We go meet here and do our best to get her. And I find out about somebody you like and who I like. He's a good friend of mine. I hear you like singing. You can sing along the tunes. Uh huh. I think. Uh, do you know anybody Lewis? The Polka. You know him? See there. You want to get something special? You know what everybody see? Hold on. I'll talk later about this child. This is a wee present. And that's from me for being our child of the year. I'll put it down. I'm really telling you, she's 12 years of age. This little girl has got a lot of problems with her life. And she raises a lot of money for charity. What she does is utterly amazing. And that's why she became my child of the year. The year that she liked, Miss Capaldi. But what did she do? I'm on the head. So, we've got Lewis to present her to a gold disc. There's only 50 of these gold discs in the world. Lewis has got number one, she's got number two. But she's our number one for the next year. Well done, darling, love you, Luke. Oh, Vera, you take our home. Right. Right, come on, Andy. Take our home. Don't you wake up. Now, in a few minutes, the warriors will be back. And I will be leading them with my paper. They'll be coming in from the top area there and walking out you all. 
We don't ask for money, we don't want money, we don't want any. We do this all for our own back. But watch his marching the way we march. And who's with us today? I have got my trusty steep coating. The warrior horse. And we've been marching the coating and the warriors. As we link together as brothers and sisters and let you hear our stories. Please join with us. You've been more than welcome. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, no. to make this stop 
and unless we wake up and speak up and shout out, then no action is what we will get. So I'm asking each of you today to not be frightened, not be scared. Tell your stories. Let it out. Let everybody hear the horrors that you went through. Because if you keep it to yourself, no one else is going to know what you are suffering. We are brothers and sisters together. We're all fighting for the same cause. We're all fighting against the same government, be it Westminster or Holyrood. It's still the government of the United Kingdom, be it Wales, England, Scotland, Ireland. We have to stop. It has to stop now. So that's enough for me. I'll wait for Sandy to get back and then we will have the speakers up. I'll see what wrote us there. But thank you for listening. Thank you. Please guys, put your hands together. I'll let him introduce yourself a bit more. He's an amazing Brian Clare. Come on, you Brian. Glad you're Survivor from the castle uh, from the 70s and 80s. We all we all know about what happened in the castle. So if you don't, if you don't, there's something very naive going on. Uh, 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 I was took in the car at uh, seven year old under the guy under the guise of ADHD, which was a false diagnosis. Uh, sexually abused. Uh, the normal standard thing was going on in the child care system. Uh, 1986, uh, when I left the car system, I decided to do something about it. But uh, we changed the law in the 90s. Yeah, we changed the law. Hey. 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 Yeah, we changed, we, yeah, we changed the law in the 90s, which was the litigation law. Uh, but what, what's happening is, uh, in the past, been uh, 20 major operations, Operation O was uh, sort of my baby, so to speak, yeah, but what people, uh, I mean, I'm English, I'm, I was involved with the English cases, but people, what people's got to realise, I mean, my opinion might count for nothing, but certainly in my views, Freemasonry uh, is very much involved with this, you know, and that's what I found out over the years, uh, but at the end, and another thing, uh, this might be an odd thing to mention, but the legalisation of paedophilia, and it's coming. It's definitely, definitely coming. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, because I'm a bit nervous. Child sexual abuse. And they really didn't go down it. Well, shit. So they decided. They try and link groups together. See how many groups we could bring. Today, we've linked the 16 groups of like Scotland, the Ireland, Wales. Ireland, Wales, South Ireland. They've all linked as brothers and sisters. We started off this, Jean and I. Just call us to do. There's thousands of us. All around the UK. We've got brothers and sisters to do. Down in London. As I said, you've got brothers and sisters to do it. Do your lines, master. Two amazing brothers. The twins. Bobby and Joe Boa. And your story's horrific. You've never heard of them. Google it. Google it. And you'll find them. And you tell stories. 
Hola, mis hijas. Ya, ya empezó. 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 Ya empezó.
Έχετε δει πολλές φορές και λεπτά, πολλές φορές δει. Είμαστε σε δεξιότητα. Φόβος δεν πειράζει. Πολλές φορές και λεπτά. Είμαστε σε δεξιότητα. Είμαστε σε δεξιότητα. Κόλλα σα που βλέπει σε δωρανάν, θα με έτσι να σβήμα την κυρία, ο Λέτζιο. Ο Κασάρα δεν έτσι να με σβήμα στην κορτία. Και αυτοί οι children in a home, και τα σφέντα λαϊφ. Είναι ένα λαϊφ. Οι children λέω, οι δύο άτομοι. Και δεν θέλω να πει ότι θα πει En het dit is niet te leuk. En dit is een feestje niet te leuk. Voor je kortjes, voor je beste chosen, is er worden 50.000 pounds. En niet te leuk. Die money, die daar. Ik zie die dat niet. Voor je in de schijn doken. Die zijn die eight years in prison. Is this the sex? Time to two. In the south. But the car was rushing home today. He took them back in. He asked them to swear up his kids. And the guys changed the bus in choir. Put this dead round. And was wanted me, wanted me because I spoke out against them. But he wasn't rehoused in choirs. It was his wife that stayed there. And he only went to live with her. So who the hell can you say that he didn't leave house him? Yeah, he was staying with his wife in there. And I can't find. And I got him dirty down. And I prayed I got him dirty down. Because I went out one morning. And it was about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. And after the noises, with his four auntie trees, auntie bounces, everywhere so everybody could see this man's face and know who I was talking about. He was the evilest son of a bitch I've ever come across. He was asked to explain his child abuse inquiry. But Lady Smith, do you want to give an apology to the children that you abused? This guy got in there. He started to get a up here. And he got his letters. He's doing stupid feeling. And he's got a book. No more silence. I tried reading it. And I couldn't. I couldn't read it. Too many memories. This is what it does to these guys. Nobody knows what it does to me. How it destroys you. I spent hours upon hours researching, finding out ways that I can take my abusers to court, how I can take this orphanage to court, where I was abused. Because there's a law out just now. The only one who was taken out of care in Scotland before the 26th of September, 1964, cannot take their abuser to court. I was taking out couriers when I was 10 years of age. So I was taking out before 1964. This hinders me to take my abuser or couriers to court. The thing is, if you were abused, and even if you, if you were abused, sorry, I'm going to ask you, if you were abused, but you had abusers before 1964, you can still get it. And if you were in that orphanage after 1964, you can still get, take your abuser before. The Scottish government just now has come up with a scheme. And it's due to money I call Two Judas money. 
The handling of like tanks, ten thousand pounds. That's what they're giving ten thousand pounds. But you can only get that just now if you're over seventy, or if you suffer. And more or less, if your life's nearly at an end, they'll give you just now ten thousand pounds. The rest of the victims are going to get this. It's supposed to be set up by 2021 before we got a penny or anything. I don't like money. I fucking pay them money, eh? But I don't want it. But I've got friends and family that could use it. And they won't get that. Because I don't want it. I've got everything in my life. Everything that I want is my life. The only one thing in my life I really did want and I lost it and it hurt me. It hurt me badly. And there's three queries again. And that was my partner, Jane. I love that girl so much and I love her still. To this day. And I just want her. To know that I love her with my heart now. Some of the things I've said to her lately has been fucking telling them to her. Isn't it, eh? I don't think it's going up. Going up. Yeah. <laughs> this is my partner, Jane. I met Jane when I was five. The colors destroyed the weird plan. We destroyed it. We've all been family together. I just had to live ever, ever after. Look at my wee bungalow with the two rocking chairs. <laughs> Think we were fast. We had a kid that we were going to have. But it wasn't to be. Because Claudius took Jane, her sister, and her brother away. She's got a new story to tell for that. It's not to me to tell it. But what happened there is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But I'm happy. Because I've got Jane back in my life. And I'm not going anywhere. And there is Jane. So, that's it. You're stuck with me. No, look at me over. Can I When Sandy first contacted me after 48 years apart, Little did I know what I was in for, <laughs> but the biggest thing that we have ever done, the biggest battle we have ever fought, was getting the headstones replaced in Quarrier's Nittens Hill Cemetery. 335 little children are in that cemetery, and they removed every single headstone. But tomorrow, that journey comes to an end as finally we will have a service to commemorate those little ones and the angels will have their headstones again. So thank you. Hello. Hello, hello Edinburgh, and uh, thank you Sandy so much, and thank you the Quarriers and uh, the Beach Home for um, organising this and organising for me to come out. Um, I was a serving police detective and spent m much of my career investigating child abuse. My story is out there and it will be too protracted to talk about now. Um, however, in essence, I uncovered a massive ring of child prostitution within the London area, and I brought it to the attention of my senior bosses. The extent of it was so massive that I had senior social workers coming to me and crying that the police were failing to do anything. We were seeing children from as young as nine years old up to 14 that were being used in the most horrific way and sold as a commodity. When I spoke out, instead of being praised for what I'd uncovered, I was viciously attacked. And the attack extended so bad that I was threatened with the loss of my home, my job, and mostly my children. Because I refused to back down, they almost carried out nearly enough every one of them threats. I nearly lost my home, I wasn't paid, 
Um, there was nine attempts to imprison me. Nine files went to the Crown Prosecution Service to prosecute me on jumped up spurious allegations. And then there was an attempt to take my youngest child into care. I've done this on the backdrop of protecting the children that are involved and making sure it doesn't happen again. Our system fails to address this. Our system refuses to accept it and it attacks anyone who comes forward. And it's not just me. There are priests that have come forward and been attacked. There are doctors that have come forward, social workers. And the police have a more difficult um, mountain to climb in as much as we're not protected by any legal process. They can virtually do what they want to us, and they do. We've seen many high-profile police whistleblowers come forward, and their testimony is almost identical as mine. We stand in the backdrop of the Scottish Parliament. There's a, a guy that's um, here today, and um, I won't mention him, but he has um, instigated and, and upheld a campaign to write to every single MP in the UK. And uh, he's near enough achieved that, with the result of hardly anyone coming forward. All the MPs do is they just cut and paste legislation regarding whistleblowers and send that off. They fail to address it. We even, at one of our protests, we approached Boris Johnson, who said it's nothing to do with me, and he stormed off. Now we're seeing a guy, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of this great nation, that is now putting money behind policing, yet he's failing to address the most important matter, and that is the abuse of kids. 80% of our prison population have come from abused backgrounds. 80, if not more, percent of Class A drug addicts have also experienced, mainly the opiates, heroin, have experienced traumatic childhood backgrounds. Child abuse is at the essence of everything. It's a root cause of criminality, dysfunctionality, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, our mental health system, and that has a direct and monumental impact on our society, yet our system blatantly refuses to address it. We've seen one of our royal family recently exposed as being a paedophile, Prince Andrew, yet the media have failed to address it. There has only been scant reference to it. We are failing our system. Their greatest weapon is our silence. Therefore, we must be heard. We will not be silenced. That's why we come here today. I am calling out to all those who assist in the campaigning to all stand together, to the Veterans Association who have today brought London to a standstill and we've seen them doing the same round Edinburgh today in, in response to the um, legislation regarding soldiers that have been prosecuted. Good on you, honourable, well done. But nothing is more important than stopping child abuse. I call out to you, come forward, get behind us, get in touch with us, we're easy to find, and let's make the government listen. This is not just a local problem, this is a global problem, and the children are the biggest commodity in organised crime. I expose connections between high-level gangsters, with high-level officers, and with politicians, and those that are the victims of this were the vulnerable children in the care system that had no one coming for them. Someone come to me once and said, are you not frightened, because they did everything to crush me. And I said this, my fear is a drop in the ocean compared to the fear of that child in a care home who's being approached at night and having the duvet moved from over them. We've got to swallow our fear and we've got to stand up and we've got to do what is right. I'm calling out to police officers that have information about paedophile cover-ups. Stand up and come forward. Those that know of high-level paedophile rings, such as um, with celebrities, a member of the establishment, come forward and stand up. Special branch have been shown to be complicit in the cover-up. So have the military intelligence, MI5 and MI6. And that's come out on the recent ICSA um, expose that we had back in the summer. These are people that are paid to protect society. And what is more, worth more protection than the vulnerable, i.e. the children. So th there it is. Stand up, come forward and speak out. And let's all say no more. And let's all say that we will not be silenced. God bless all of you. God bless victims and survivors. God bless.
Hi everyone, my name is Joe, Joe Hunt. I'm part of an online child protection group called the Forbidden Scotland. And uh, I'm actually one of the hunters. Now, I joined this group for a reason. For professionalism. For care for each other. And their unity. Now, I see this week in, week out. I actually joined this group to support them. And I've found over the last few months that I joined this group and it supported me because I was at a place in my life where I'd look at my past and the, the abuse that I went through as a child. Now I'm not going to talk about the abuse, but I'm going to read a little poem. So you listen up, you'll hear the pain, and you'll hear what I went through. I lived in silence for so many years. My childhood was gone, replaced with so many fears. A plaything I'd become for a nasty evil man. This is where my mistrust and anger all began. He made, you know, he would take me to the beach, then into his bed. And I will always be haunted by his actions and the words that he said. He made me do unspeakable things, unspeakable horrible things. And all these years later that hurt and pain stings and it still clings. I didn't speak of what I went through or what he put me through. Because as my abuser would tell me, who would believe you? When I went back home, things weren't much better. As my mother's boyfriend would beat me with sticks and he'd slap me with leather. How could I trust any adult again when they hurt me, abuse me and leave me frightened and broken? Who'd believe you? Who'd believe you? A child of, a child of horror and in my silence I grew. Now coming back to Scotland after 28 years of running away I realised I was running away from myself, from my pain, from my heart, from my child abuse. Sexually, physically, mentally broken as a child. And yet, here I stand today, breaking the silence after all these years, and standing before my peers, my friends, my colleagues, and my loved ones, to tell you that we will not take any more of people abusing our children. We're standing up for them as a team, We've united together with Warriors Walk, Warriors Beach Homes, Care Home. I would link up with anybody if they were going out there fighting to keep our children safe. I'm doing this for me because when I stand before somebody who's hell bent and abusing our children and sexually abusing them, I stand there before them and I look them in the eye. And I ask them, why? Why do you do this to children? You know, our children are our most precious commodity that we have. And yet, we stand back in silence. We turn away when somebody speaks of the atrocities that are happening day in, day out. And then, we start looking at the death toll, the suicide rate, especially amongst men. Because men don't speak out. Men remain silent because that's what the world's taught us to do. Forbidden Scotland has given me a voice. Sandy and Jane, you have helped me find my voice. My voice was a whisper. And joining this beautiful group has helped me. I roll off things just to remind me so I don't forget because I'm quite forgetful as I get older. My voice is my weapon of choice. It breaks the silence of my own childhood abuse. It speaks up for justice. And when I stand before an abuser with our team, the Forbidden Scotland, I use my voice to shame the monster and ask the bastard why. Myself and our team are dedicated and beautiful warriors. Some of us are survivors. 
we want to bring the online German sexual exploitation of our children out into the open. People need to know that people are online grooming your children, meeting our children, abusing our children. We have a beautiful team of decoys, the heart, the backbone of any hunting group. These decoys sit through hours and hours and hours of disgusting chat. I don't know how to do it, but I'm glad to got the balls to do it, for want of a better word. We know here in Scotland our police are underfunded and our government don't care. Well, we as individuals in our group, we care. We as a team, we care. We care about your kids. We care about our future. What kind of legacy are we leaving? We don't want to leave a legacy of broken children because that just carries on and carries on and carries on. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. So basically, I've gone from being a broken man and destroyed to a, a survivor slash warrior. And I hope that if there's anybody listening out here who has been abused and who still remains silent, I hope you can find your voice and I hope you can find peace. I'm still on that road to healing. I still have my moments. Child abuse will stay with me forever. It does cast a shadow that lasts a whole lifetime. Thank everybody who's been here today. I wish there was more people here, because more people need to know that their children are in danger. And the only time that these people will wake up and realize that your children are in danger is when it happens to your own children. And I, I ask God that it never happens to another child. But the reality is that it will happen to children. Right now, as we speak, it will be happening to children not just in their own homes, not by just strangers, but in the care homes. A system that was set up to look after our kids has left them broken and destroyed as adults. Thank you for listening. I'm Joe Hunt, part of the Spaghetti Group, my family. Thank you, man. Good morning again. Good morning, Joe. It's a terrific day.
เมื่อพี่เธอเนี่ยจะกินเนี่ยเธอมีสัตว์กินช้าตึงเนี่ยทำไมเพราะที่สักทีเราจะได้ยินเอาเลยแต่ก็มีสัตว์กินช้าตึงเราไม่รู้ว่ามีสัตว์กินช้าตึงเราจะได้ยินเราจะได้ยินแต่เราสตีนเนี่ยอาการมีสกาบส์อาการมีกระทบมีสกรีนเธอเข้าใจถึงกับว่าอิสระแต่ไม่ได้ยินฉันเห็นมีคนที่เธอเล่นมีแต่ฉันยังไม่เคยเคยว่ามันจะได้ยินเด็กมีอะไรไหมที่เขาชอบมีบ้านนี้ที่เราไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกันเลยว่าฉันมีสิ่งที่ฉันไม่เคยได้ยินกเราจะมาตื่นตาทายเราจะต้องเรียนตัวดีจะทำอย่างไรที่คิดถูกจะสกิดขัดสิ่งจีนเราอยู่ที่สตาร์ทที่ทำให้คนเราเจอจะสะท้อนจากอารมณ์ที่คิดสะท้อนจากความสัมพันธ์ซึ่งสตูสันจึงเป็นเฟอร์ทีมที่เป็นสิ่งที่มีทิก34 victims of abuse from three stages we work up, from victim to survivor to survivor warrior. And we take, and in proving that, we take 34 three stages. Help them, support them. And there's nothing greater when people come forward and take their testimonies because there's one hell of a hard thing to do and took me a long time. It took me from 1959 to 2012 before I first spoke a lot about my abuse and I still suffered to this day. We go a few for a quick time.
I'm not doing it because it's five years of age and Claudia holds her hands. And there are other guys that went through Claudia's. We were sat there and talked about their life together, but it never happened. The age of 14, everything that happened in my life came to an end. I didn't get married. Right since I had to defend myself, but uh, I married a woman who was born in hell, and she was a family. My ex wife's mother even told me one day, got away from her. She's not here, so I can't talk. I think they threw a divorce. And a few years later, I met a true love in my life. And it's my partner, Jane. And I do love her. Now, tell me if you see that in front of everyone, anyways. This is a bit of a thing. Oh, don't kill me. This is the love of my life, Jane. I remember your bits. And this is where it comes about a little bit. Stand up here with me. It's <laughs> the biggest pain in the ass of me. But you're a lover. And it's Jane's sister, Wilma. And this is a true story. Jane and Wilma. Jane and Wilma. They're in. They see courage and courteous. Oh, I don't know how that's going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing with that, it's easier. But, Jeannie Mama was in the same cottage in Corias. And I didn't even know they were brothers and sisters. I saw they were sisters. I didn't even know. But their brother David it was a cottage down the road. Why did he separate the, the brother from his two sisters? I don't know either. Why have you done this? But this is the things he did do. Because that split families, destroyed families, children in care today means money for that parliament for these men. She was taking a hundred miles from her home to quarry us off in homes. And then many, 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 who was in Quarrier's orphan homes and ended up down south. Why do we take kids off loving parents? Because your children are worth money to you bastards that sit in their ear. That's all I would want. Money to them. Yeah. I don't think the rest of them screamed me. I was screaming in Russian homes when I was eight. And I ain't standing here today when we... Muddits do the same thing. And coming out of the toilet and saying, How can you have kids? I will support you. I love you. I'm the killer of the green. The sun stays on my ass. No. No killer. Who loves you today when I ask them to come here? Who are they? They don't. They don't come. We were the children who were abused, forgotten about, and now you're busy adults, as busy as the Don't let the Scottish government fail. Or they've got a fund, a fund started up with giving the victims money. I'll be sure to be 2021. No, it will not. And I can prove it or not. I can prove it. But no victims are getting the support of the 2021. I've been asked, I've been asked to go into a group, set up for them, to find out a way how the Scottish government can help victims. What do they do? They go into this group, they become part of it. But they protest and say no. I really don't know. How do you think you think of this? Maybe the next time we meet his brothers and sisters will have an answer to this. Maybe I just will. And as I look at each and every one, won't be I feel brilliant. Like 
Freund schreibt bei mir. Das ist ein riesen Mann, der ich kann. Mit dem Freund und Bruder von mir nicht hier. Ein Mann bei euch ist Bruder von mir nicht hier gekommen. Und die Gera. Und alles ist bei euch für nichts, oder? Support nichts, oder? Das wird euch für nichts, oder? Und ich will bleiben mit mir in den Ohr. Thank you for coming up. Give me your support. My message is to all those survivors who are suffering in silence. At last we're, we're finally beginning to speak out. But we can't speak out unless unless we try and unite. I know we I know we've got an, our like intern, internal arguments, but we've got to do this. We've got to do this for the children. And my message is this is from me. To every single paedophile in this country, uh, past, present past, present and future. We're all coming for you. We'll never leave the wounded on the battlefield. Thanks, Ed Brown. I love you, Brown. I'm going to happen here. As I do each and every one of these guys that's here. As I move along the line, I'm just going to get everything out of the desk. Let me see if I can write. Good words. Who's going to be in this? We're going to move here. Keep fighting with us guys, we need your support. Here's to the people walking by with children. Take care of your kids. Love them with all your heart and more. Love them with that. And every way you put your child to bed, and took your child in, think of yourself of being special. And nothing's happened to that child. Because any fun fact, there's people standing here, there's people standing around the mountains, the rest of hell, there's one mum and dad that are talking to me, there's children, all of them, and give them support. It didn't happen for us. We were the children that we should go in. But now, we are the adults who are still being given forgotten by government. Not just here in Scotland, but down in Westminster. This is happening all over. All over the world. Child abuse. Damn fed up every day. And I'm telling you, go on to the computer. You'll see children that's been abused. Look at your newspapers. Child abuse. But look, when it comes to that abuser, when they go to court, what happens to them? Community service. 200 years community service and putting a sex register for five years for destroying a child's life. Because that child, I live with that forevermore. I was eight years of age when I was sexually abused. And beating in the back with a fat little girl with a lot. Don't tell anyone, you dirty child, after a man raped me, penetrated me, and took you away from me. I am hot, I am scared, and I'm going to eat buggers in the rear of you. What I'm suffering, and why each one of us is suffering. This is what happens to a child that's been abused. And our court system is failing us, failing, failing, failing when we take their abusers to court. Yeah, I see a hunter group sitting there. I spoke to them. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? I mean, he's out of my back here. They're what these groups doing. Get out of your computers there. Just to protect the children. Your children! Because you could be your child. It's on that computer right now when you need to hear. You don't know what your child's doing in the room. So, get wise. Take out their faces as much as you can. Know who they're talking to. Because these soldiers, abuse kids, are so fly, sneaky. They know how you want the system. They know how you do it. As I say, 
I see we got all running out about the point. And I had a lift to my childhood like that, one in three, but I never got it. There's so many, it's here, I never got it. And as I move along the lane, I'm coming to the lane. Who I met through Facebook. From the beach home, children's home. And we became friends. Brothers, sisters. What work can you sing? And it's a fantastic show. And again, so from my heart to yours, I thank you. Because so has come up from London just to be here to try and let a voice be heard a little bit. And she did. So I love you all my heart and I'll always be here for you and the brothers. We are brothers and sisters to come and the love of Love you, sir. As I come along, Down 
a complainer, fighting for protect children. What do I want to get involved? Why is this here? Right, George. Right. Still again, right. And I'm going to pull up two more. What does it say on this estate here? Who are the children who are abused today? We are the adults who will be abused no more. Because we're all going to work together and the link's the most important thing. And we have link. Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 This is the start of today. This is the true facts of my life and what happened all through my life. Right through from when I was born to the present day as I am a warrior. I'm not right in the camera, I can look at that, no bother. But I didn't, no too good. And I put that up here looking for. Can someone help me? And I found it. This man here, Craig. He's gave up his day. What are you about? But he's gave up his day to come and support us. And he's going to help me to do this. I'm in the Hazel in Ireland. 
Oh, but what we got up? The Dunas, and we're going to do that. And for that, the Gandhi Allen, the Hazel, and the Air. Thanks for your support. Pleasure. You will enjoy that. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, for years. Anything. No more. So I'm not here. From me. And before I go. You hear any friends? All right. Well, I've got to set number one. Fire still. What do you really mean? You know what I get away on the hot in here? Because what's up with that kid? Wow. I think she does for numbers. It's amazing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Tell me. Just you tell them, man. Man? Can I go in the morning? Some eggs. And you. And you go up to the connection. Just come in here. Okay. That's all good. For the next year. For the next year. So that will go out. For me, Sunday Smith, Curious Warriors, just as we've told them, are we? Thank you for coming and hearing our voices. Thank you for coming and supporting us. And we hope in the future you'll come again and hear us. Tomorrow, I turned 68 years of age. And tomorrow, one of the biggest things I've ever fought in my life. Come to the end. Because of that. Come to the end. 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 Come the end. Come to 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 and these houses are going to look into that, and look at what they're going to do, and they're going to do, and they're going to do, and we've fought as brothers and sisters together. There's 174 of us from Korea as brothers and sisters. All over the world, we are, for when it comes. Can you stand here today as warriors to confront you are chosen from the heading, the challenging of the days of tomorrow. You pick a day, you pick a time, and I'll come. I'll meet you 